so db db refresh so what is mean by refresh db refresh here so taking the taking the suppose in your landscape you have the development so quality and production systems are there right so production systems are there so the changes will move to the systems from development to quality then quality to the production the changes will go to the here from here to here from here to here the changes will go to the systems here development to quality quality to production here but especially in the production system all the end users all the business users so they will log in they will do the transactions here they will log into the production system they will log into the production system here so they will do the transactions here right they will do the transaction here quality and development system here so they will do the transactions but they will not do the any transactions quality and development system only production system they will do the transactions here so here what will happen here we have the more data compared to the development and quality non production systems and production system so we have the more data more data means we have the so transactional data business data is available in the production systems here so maybe yearly ones are so one and a half year ones what we have to do it here yearly ones and one and a half year ones so we have to in the production systems especially so we have to take the backup we have to take db backup we have to take it out from the production right so then we have to restore it on the quality systems to get the same business data to get the same business data we have to take it here we have to take the take it here then we have to so restore it on the we have to restore it on the in the quality system we have to restore it on the quality systems here so we have to restore it on the quality system here production act copy and we have to restore it on the so quality systems we have to do it here so so why because sometimes what happens the changes the developers will develop the one new change that will go to the quality quality will be successful then when we will go to the testing maybe because they, if they want to do the testing data your quality and the production data should be the same right then only the testing will work the testing will be successful sometimes what happens testing will be successful here when it is go to the production the production the 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 deployment will fail the production chain will fail it will create the some noise in the production system so the customer won't happy with the this one why because because of the change it, it will impact the other business other other functionalities are impacted so the customer won't happy in that case what we have to do yearly ones are one and a half year one 18 months once we may have to do the db refresh db refresh means taking the production system data and importing into the one of the our quality system here so in this case what will happen if you take the db backup all the data will come into the picture right then same backup we are importing into the here so in this case so so same data will come whatever the data is there same data will come same data means same users same rfc destinations same everything should be same settings same configuration everything will be same same to same production but what happens with the by quality system before that there is a configuration of the quality system connection connectivities so connection parameters the profiles settings users rfc destinations so many things are there with the quality i want only business data but we cannot segregate business data so that means transactional data and the configuration data if you are doing the refresh all the data will come it will override on the the existing configuration that is the one more issue more issues we may get it out here in this case how to deal in this case here how to perform the pre steps here the more pre step how to perform it here like pre steps means taking the the configuration backup in the quality system not only business data not the business data only configuration backups we have to take it out here how to do that one here in the source source means this is the source system backup so we are restoring it on the your target system target is the quality then in this case quality is the target source is the so production system so here in the production side what activities you have to do it here in the production side here in the production side here we need the dash to one or two activities like in the production we need the we need the full 
db backup we have to take it out will db backup so we have to take it out now we know right how to take the db backups right so everybody knows we already completed the hana topics right db backups so once you take the db backup then so move the move the db backups to the, the target location move the db backup to the target location we have to move it here right so we have to move to the here in the target location in the target side what activities we have to do it here this is what the three steps here this is what the three steps we have to do it here this is the target side target side means in the quality side target side activities target side activities so they have target side activities they have categorized into the three types here one is the free refresh steps free refresh steps here before the refresh then so restore restore the system restore the backup now uh, this one also we know how to restore it then post refresh activities post refresh activities here post refresh activities here post re refresh steps restore and post refresh activities we have to do it here target side activities here right so that is what we have to do it here right so here here backup taking the backup restoring it on the quality system here that we know right so pre-refresh steps as part of the pre-refresh steps here so first what we have to do we need to we have to we will list the steps here we have to take the take the export of user master records so for this one we need to go to the scc8 sc8 then select the profiles select the scp underscore user profile then you need to export it here right so why because here the users the passwords are different here the users passwords are different when you are doing the restore and refresh what will happen all the production users and production passwords will come what about the quality users that is gone right so to avoid this kind of things here what we have to do we need to take the export of user master records we have to export it also take the export of export of so rfc destinations there are the tables the tables we have to take the exports here rfc des rfc doc rfc des t there is a rfc star tables so we need to take the exports of the steps here then so take the take the your partner profiles w20 w21 so idoc idoc and the partner partner profile profile settings we have to take the backups they are the tables each and everything these are the configurations each and everything we have to take the so backups here all right so then then once done take the so cop export of take the export of our logical systems logical systems which means so our sale sale as logical systems creation like it's kind of bd50 or whatever we have there so that we have to take it out the table names called the tbdls is the table name where the logical system entries are exist here then so once this is done take if any custom if any custom if any custom means custom custom changes custom table changes custom cha custom configuration this is the customer specific this is the customer specific if any customer configuration if any custom configurations so we have to take the export or backup we have to take it out here then remaining steps are like so remaining steps are the screen captures screen we can also write the scripts screen capture of smlg why because when you restore it the production entries will come then we need the smlg then rz12 right then rz03 then so then we have to take the uh, screen captures of smlg rz12 rz03 so we have a few more transaction codes are there so smqr smqs smq1 status smq2 status then sm58 status so then so 
he have lots to take the all the screen captures whatever the technical configuration is there we have to take the screen captures all those things we have to take the screen captures here etc and then i can say etc here so right so then once you done it then so maybe uh, yeah os level os level take the backup of take the backup of your sec directory and the profile directory so we have to take the backups here sec directory and profile directory we have to take the backups here profiles also we need to take the backups so then stop stop so qs sap system stop qs sap system here so these are the steps we have to perform it as part of the pre refresh activities here right so let's go to the system let's go to the system here so now export the user master records right that one we know sec8 then select the user select the system select the system and group now this one we know we already multiple times we have already performed this one right so then we can just click on the background job that will be scheduled then so the next one is the so toc transport of copies so here to perform this one to perform the export of the rfc destinations here so we have to create the transport of copies here as we discussed during the transports time we need to create the transport transport of copies during the refresh time why because if we do not create the workbench request and the customization request transport of copies we have to create it for the refresh then here so i can say refresh some description tables export refresh the table exports i am taking care of here so for this one what we have to do we need to give the syntax here r3 tr taboo then rfc des all rfc destinations so we have to take the configuration backups then save it here right so then r3 tr tabu all the configuration tables whatever they have rfc des rfc doc rfc document these all are the four tables are there and they are rfc related so these all tables we have to take the backup here then rfc so attribute att rib attribute yes attribute rfc so text rfc text like this if you have any custom tables suppose background jobs background jobs right so then t b t c t so t b t c t or t b t c s yes so this table then like this if you have any tables all the configuration table either in one transport or multiple transport request so t b d l s transport logical systems then all the transport request here so whatever you have into one transport request or multiple within all the configuration tables so we have to take the so backups and into the here then we can create the then custom based upon the customer you may it may be add the few more tables also here they will tell you which tables you need to take the backup but the procedure is same here the procedure is same for all then release the transport request just release the transport request that will be enough here just you can release it here after that take the screen capture of the smlg why because here so we are not sure what is there in the here and tomorrow after the restore what will happen here you will get the production entries and the production groups then before groups if you want to refer you need to take the screen captures you go to the scripting tool then take the screen captures here you can take the screen captures here and also rz12 rfc server groups also you can take the screen captures also here then smq system qr so this one also if any entries are there smqs any entries are there you can take the screen captures so then smq1 are there any failed entries before that one then so like that s yes, trust sso2 the certificates the certificates also you have to take the backup what why because 
So during the during the restore, you will get the production NWP, some production entries you will get. So you need to take the certificates also here. Certificates. So certificates. So certificates export also you have to take it out here. So then, so yeah, these are the the major things here. RFC destinations, UME, IDAC profiles in master of data W20, W21. So the BDLS configurations, if any custom configuration. So as sometimes some customers, there is a custom tables, Z, Z tables, some tables, some custom tables. So those configuration tables, we may have to take the backup here. Okay, so it will change, it depends upon the customer. But the basic things are, the basic, the refresh steps are this one, we have to take it out. We have to take it out, the, this refresh steps here, exports and import procedures. We have to take it out here, exports. Then, so we, we export it, the certificates will be exported. And also take the screenshot of the your SMICM port. Sometimes what will happen, so you will get the production. So then ports will be disabled. So we won't get it, but take the screen captures for more screen captures screenshots we have to do that one we have to do that we have to take care of the all these free refresh steps we have to take it out here right so once done once this refresh stops done then bring the bring down the your sap system right right click and stop it your sap will be stopped here we can bring down the our sap systems so that then we can perform the so remaining activities here we can perform the so remaining activities here, right? So remaining activities in the sense. So remaining activities means after this, we have to stop the SAP system. We have to stop the SAP system. So then we can so perform the post refresh activities means restore it. So restore means we know, right? Restore means we everybody knows here how to do that one. Using the HANA Studio, using the HANA Studio, right using the hana studio so then there is a option right so back taking the backups then after that restoring it using the system db so multiple times we may have to perform we performed right so let's see what is the database which is there currently to restore it here three steps so these are the all the configuration whatever we have all the configurations we have to take the screen captures here all the configuration here go to the here Sir, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, sir, if you refresh uh, uh, production data to quality, so then all uh, existing data will be re rewrite now, sir. Yeah, that's why we are doing the free refresh steps, right? Free steps. Okay. Because okay. business we, we need the business data. We need the business data. But configuration also will come. So that's why as part of the free steps, we are taking the RFC destinations, this one, this one, all the configuration, wherever the configuration tables, the configurations are there, all those things we are taking out here. So, so, so all taking, we are taking, we are taking this one here. We are taking the screen captures and everything. Why? Because after the restore is completed, you will get the production data. Then again, we have to reconfigure the, all those things here. So that's why post refresh steps. In the post refresh steps, we have to we have to make it as same as like quality before how we have so we have to make it instead of that uh, complete uh, data restoration i think we can do uh, client uh, copy no sir client copy we can take it out but client copy when you are taking from production the production source client is locked but production source client is locked means there is a business users right downtime users yes. downtime and there is a so downtime, it will impact the downtime. So that's why the customer it won't agree. It won't it won't agree for the this one. So that's the reason we are not going to perform the client copies and everything remote client copies within the non-production systems. No business will happen. It will impact only our IT teams only. So there is no issues here. But if you're doing in the production, entire business will use it here after the goal I have. Entire business will start using these things and everything. So so that's the reason. So client copy from production is not allowed. If you don't have that much of business, so then that time we can allow it. So no problem. But if you don't have the, if you have the production means definitely there is a business, right? So it will impact the business. That's why 
client copy the sap we won't recommend from production to quality system why because source client is locked means so users until completion of the activity users cannot commit any transactions and nothing will happen okay so here what is the database which is a uh, database backup and restore we know we already multiple times we have done it right so here let me show you in the sap windows one host hdb info mm -hmm. yeah, nothing is here let me start it here Don't touch this one SAP HANA here. So SAP HANA is dedicated for SAP S4 HANA systems. S4 HANA system. In our in our uh, landscape, we introduced the S4 HANA system, new S4 HANA system. So this is dedicated for S4 HANA system only. Otherwise, I will connect it to the for S4 now system. SAP HANA. What is the password? Oh. Oh. System DB password is gone in this host, S4 and a host. So let's see whether it will start or not. If started, then we can do it. Normally, we need the system DB. So, there is a system DB password. We need to reset it. Okay. Let's see once it is started. If not working, then we will do the reset. And oh, it is gone. Oh, gone. Okay, I'm on testing, I guess. Yeah, I think HS1 is working. We can see HS1. So then I can connect it to the HS1. So just to take the here. Yeah. So SAP Linux 1. Okay. So HS1, what is the instance number here? SAP Linux 1. So it's a 0, 07. 0, 07. 0, 07. Multi container from database. This is the one. Passwords. What is the password? Okay, so this one you guys are aware of that one, right? So backups and recovery. 
So here we need to take the tenant DB backup once the pre steps are everything is completed. So backups, production backups, we know same kind of things. We need to select it, right? We need to select it, copy. Then we can do the next. We can do the take the backups, right? So once backup, so now we can see take the backups. So then backups will create the some file set operating system level, or we can use the back int the third party sites third party so int file you can use it here right now we are using the back end backup file system backup we are using here so then once you've done it here so hs1 hs1 backup we are taking so hs1 backup we are taking now so what we are doing this is about like hs7 is the production just assume this is the production then this is the hs3 is the so tenant right this is the production this is the quality we are taking the backup then stop the hs3 system all the sap activities everything once you've done it stop it here so once you've done it then move the backup files right backup also completed here move the backup files to the your target location target location means suppose like you have moved to the here so now you can see so you can move don't need to stop the hana database no need to stop the hana database here then once you've done it here then right click right click on the system db on the target side target side just you can right click so right so then go to the backup and recovery the, so just to re restore the tenant database here what you need to choose is here hs3 means we would hs3 then recover to the specific data backup here not the point in time recovery specific most recent date. specific data backup you choose it here click on the next button then so search in the location, the backup location, you have to give it here. So if it is the same, that is fine. If it is the same, so that is fine. Otherwise, you could go to backup catalog, then provide the backup location. What is the backup location where these files got stored? Maybe it got stored into the, there is a backup folder. Maybe somewhere you will place the backups, right? So that backup folder, you have to store, you have to give it here, DB underscore hs1 here so here you placed it not only here you can give the location as the any folder you can give it in the operating system level any folder location you can give it here right so here same hs1 complete db backups then next the next finish then let's see so now it is doing the restore here so specific data backup the specific data backup here what is the specific backup which you copied from the production hs1 copied from the production that backup you are restoring it on the hs3 hs3 you are restoring it here hs3 you are restoring it here that recovery is getting started now here this way so you need to do the restore and recovery is simple but the thing is here taking the pre steps are very important here taking the free steps are very important here taking the exports rfc destinations so w20 w21 idoc profiles partner profiles <coughs> configurations why because if you miss one step again it will be a problem problem means again you need to reconfigure you need to refer refer take the reference of the production or development you need to take the recopy here Small configurations are fine. If very big configuration, again, restoring it in the, all the entries means it will be a time consuming activity. So why? Because this activity normally they will give you the one week, five days or four days time. Four days time they will give you us to do the refresh activity. Why? Because this four days time, your testing or development activities will be stopped. So that's why. So we have to, within the four days time, we have to complete this activity, which means production activities and quality uh, pre-steps and restoring it on the system restore the systems then so once the restore is done then post activities all the activities we may have to complete it here all the activities we may have to do it in the systems here so yeah this is the activities we have to do it So once the restore depends upon the db size depends upon the, our db size here the restore may take some time between the restore may take the some time here then once the restore is completed 
once the restore is completed then we can perform the post steps post refresh steps we can perform it here so these are the these are the refresh we want to perform the restore refresh db refresh so we have to take the three steps restore the post refresh activities post refresh activities we have to perform it here right so pre means these are all the steps you need to explain it here then stop the system then restore backup and recovery so backup them then post refresh activities so that i will once the this is completed maybe this is progress it will take it will, it will progress it so once this is completed then we can perform the post refresh activities okay that is the thing Okay, so what you can do for 